Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create a sequence in PostgreSQL. I have two examples for you. If you want to see more programming training videos from me, where every video teaches you what you need, no fluff, just easy to follow and are practical, you will benefit by subscribing to my channel. I will not disappoint you. Let's look at our first example of the sequence of PostgreSQL. Uh, notice here you say create sequence, a sequence name as a data type. Here you're seeing integer. We'll highlight this, we'll execute, and successful. We're then going to create a table, and that table has a column of type integer, the same as our sequence. And then we say next val, the name of our sequence, same name. And then we just finish it up with another column and then we'll execute this. And then what we have to do is we have to marry these two. So we say alter sequence, cuss identity, and now it's owned by test one, customer ID. Let's execute that. And now they are bound together. So now when I do the insert statement, I'll say insert, and then I'll say select star from that table. Notice that I got the value 1. If I were to come down and say select next value of that same sequence, I can change its value. And let me bang on this a few times. And notice the current value of this sequence is 9. So when I do this insert again, this should go to 10. Let's see that happen. Execute. And let's select star from there. And you see the current value is 10. Let's take a look at example two of create sequence. Notice we say create sequence, the name, our data type. And now we're saying start with some number, start with 47, and then increment by 11, which is pretty cool. So let's generate this sequence. And then we're going to create a table and we're going to use the same data type. And then we're going to say next val by the, the sequence number cause identity. Let's create this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do an insert into this table. And notice that it's kind of like an identity column in SQL Server. And then that value will be 47. Now our next value, if we say what's curval, curval, if we look at that, that is what our current value is of this sequence. When we do our next insert, it is actually going to be 11 digits away from that. Let's change that to B and let's do this insert again. So 47 plus 11, 58. And then let's see what's in the table. And notice we're at 58. Now it is possible for some reason we want to change the current value of this sequence number. So we can say set val, the name of our sequence name, and its new value. Then just like we did before, we can look at the current value. So you know now that when we go and do the next entry, it's going to be 654 plus 11. Let's look what our data looks like. And there you have it. Thanks, team. I hope you learned a thing or two. See you back in my next video.